Hi, my name is Balia, and today I'm going to share with you about the art of espalier. Espalier is the art of growing trees on a flat plain. As you see behind me here, I have a pear tree that has been espaliered. And there are many benefits to growing plants this way, especially fruit trees. As you can see, the fruit is very easy to harvest. It's pretty much wheelchair accessible and there is no need for really tall ladders or any kind of picking devices. Often a fruit tree will get so big that the fruit will be unreachable and the best fruit is always at the top of the tree. So this eliminates that problem fully. It actually makes the tree healthier because of the weight distribution on the trunk. Um, and these trees can live up to twice their lifespan. If you have a very small yard, you could only plant maybe three or four fruit trees and they would fill in the entire yard creating shade so you couldn't have a vegetable garden or any lawn. It would just be those fruit trees. If you use espalier, you could do 12 or 15 different types of fruit trees in your yard. You just grow them along the fence line or against the side of the house and they wouldn't even create any shade or take up any space inside the yard. Trees that lend themselves to espalier are apples, pears, Asian pears, figs, plums, apricots, cherries, currants, mulberries, and pomegranates, as well as grapes and kiwis. Peaches and nectarines are unsuitable for espalier as they only fruit on the one-year-old wood, thus requiring extensive annual pruning. Espalier training in the classic European styles can be traced back to techniques developed in the mid-1600s by Father Legender of Havenville, France. The problem Father Legender faced was that the last frost of the season would kill the fruit buds. It was noted that the trees planted nearest to the monastery walls always suffered less bud kill than those located out in the open, so he planted more trees near walls. Eventually, he started to run into a space problem. To remedy the issue, he started shearing the trees, which he discovered had the positive effect of causing the plants to produce more fruit. The reasons for growing espalier trees in the 1600s are still viable today. They are excellent space savers, perfect for small gardens. They offer easier access for gardeners with limited mobility, and because they are less susceptible to breaking branches, these trees have an incredible lifespan. You can find espalier apple trees that are 150 years old and still producing fruit. What you need to do is get some wire like this and some eye bolts, screw them into the wall, and tie the wire in, and then begin training your tree. Espalier is suitable for many different types of trees. It is best to buy trees that are grown on a dwarf rootstock. Fruit trees grown on a dwarf rootstock will be shorter and easier to train. Every spring you'll find trees in their bare root form sold in many stores. This is a typical bare root tree. The roots are exposed. And here we have a wonderful pear tree. Um, you can see the graft point here. What they do is they take a rootstock of a tree that's gonna be kind of short, and then they graft the fruit onto it so that the fruit tree will be short, which is perfect for espalier, because you don't want a 70-foot tree. You don't wanna do this with a 70-foot tree. You wanna do it with a short tree that's not gonna get out of hand. Buy a bare root tree with little or no branches. Make sure the location of your espalier gets at least six hours of direct sunlight each day. Southern and western exposure are best if against a wall or fence. Pawpaws and mulberries are shade-loving plants, and they can be espaliered on the shadier side of your house and yard. There are many patterns in which you may choose to espalier your trees. The easiest and most common is the cordon style. Other styles include the Belgian fence and the candelabra style. You will need about seven feet of wall space to accommodate the mature size of your cordon. Here I have a baby espalier tree that I've been training. And as you can see, I let one of the branches get nice and tall. And next season, I'll clip this and two more branches will come out. You need to make sure that the branches are at least 16 inches apart so that the fruit has enough space and the leaves have enough space. And what you do is you just tie up as it gets longer, you just tie up the new growth like so. Keep tying the new growth until they reach the distance that you like and then you clip them and they'll stop growing. 
and you'll see this one has little shoots coming up all along here. Um, what I'll do is I'll actually cut these a little bit shorter, but I'll leave a little piece of it. So that will be my fruiting spur is what that's called. Espalieting is a fun way to express yourself in the garden. You can get it started in a weekend and in a few years, you will have a beautiful and fruitful work of art in your garden. They'll produce buckets of fruit for free every year right in your backyard. It doesn't get any more seasonal or local than that.